So you want to start streaming or you want to make a YouTube channel. Perhaps the most important thing, besides the content of course, is your audio quality. People can deal with slightly bad video quality as long as your audio is good. If the audio is bad though, people will stop watching very quickly. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a believer in the fact that if you want to start a YouTube channel or you want to start streaming, you should just get started, don't let lack of professional gear stop you. But if you are serious about it, it's definitely worth investing in some equipment that will make the quality of your videos or streams better. And when you're first starting out, you don't want to spend a fortune. So today I've got a cheap condenser mic for you to check out. It was sent over by a company called Tonor. It's USB, so you don't need an audio interface or anything like that. It's literally just plug and play. Also comes with a suspension arm that you can attach to your desk. It's basically got everything you need to get started. I'll also be comparing the sound quality to a mic that costs about four times as much to see what the difference is, if any, so make sure you watch the whole video. So in the box you get a pop filter that goes in front of the mic to soften the streams of air that come out of your mouth when you pronounce P's or S's. Here's the suspension arm, it kind of just looks like a generic one that I think they've decided to bundle with the mic because it looks literally the same as one that I purchased a while back. You've got your table clamp, which the suspension arm attaches to. Then you've got your shock mount, the purpose of which is to basically suspend the microphone and isolate it from noises that could be picked up through, for example, your desk. There's a windshield for the mic, and then finally the mic itself, which honestly, guys, for the price, feels decent quality. It's got some weight to it. It's mostly made of metal. The gain switches feel nice and tactile. First impressions of just holding it in your hand are good. But of course, that means absolutely nothing if it sounds like garbage. So let's get it all plugged in and see what it sounds like. So here we are, what you're hearing right now is the audio straight from the Tonor Q9, I've not done anything to it, it's literally just the raw sound straight from the mic, and I've actually already heard it myself by this point, and I can tell you guys that it does actually sound good. Now one thing to bear in mind with these sort of mics is that they sound better the closer you are to them, so that makes them ideal for anything like streaming or recording voiceovers, pretty much anything where you can be close to the mic. The further away you are, the worse they'll sound. Now the little buttons you saw on the front are the gain control. Think of that as basically like adjusting the sensitivity of the mic. Now unfortunately, there's no way to actually tell what gain setting you're on. You kind of just have to guess because they're only buttons, there's no digital display or anything. Now if you are going to be using this mic for streaming or recording videos, you'll likely want to apply some sort of EQ or compression just to get it to sound a little bit better. So if you guys want to hear what it could sound like with a bit of software enhancement, let me show you. So this is what it sounds like with some effects added. I'm actually running this through a program called Voice Meter. So we've got the mic signal running through Voice Meter and straight out to OBS, which is what I'm using to record this video. Sounds pretty good, right? By the way, if you want the Voice Meter preset that I'm using, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. And while you're there, if you want to give me a follow on Twitch, you can do. So yeah, by the time you've added some compression and EQ, it actually sounds pretty good. Does it sound as good as something that costs 50 times the price? Probably not. Does it sound as good as something that costs 4 times the price? Well, we're going to compare them now, and for this test, I'm going to get rid of all the effects and EQ and compression so that we can just compare the raw sound of the mics. The mic I'm going to be comparing with this one is the Rode NT1A, which costs around the $200 mark. So what you're listening to right now is the audio from the Rode NT1A. This is what it sounds like. And what you're listening to right now is the audio from the Tonor Q9. Again, no EQ, this is what it sounds like. And back to the Rode NT1A, this is what it sounds like. And back to the Tonor Q9, this is what it sounds like. This is what the Rode NT1A sounds like running through voice meter. And this is what the Tonor Q9 sounds like running through voice meter. Can you guys tell a difference? To me, the Rode NT1A has a bit more presence. It's a little bit crispier sounding, but I wouldn't say it sounds four times as good. And you tend to find that with a lot of products, just because something costs X times the amount doesn't mean it's X times as good. And the bottom line is here, the audio that you can get out of this thing is great. In terms of practicality, I wish they'd put the gain control buttons a little bit higher up just because they're a bit awkward to reach once it's in the shock mount. And like I said earlier, I think it would have been better to have like a digital display or maybe even a dial because there's no way to tell what gain setting you want. The suspension arm and shock mount does the job perfectly fine. You can pretty much position it wherever you want. And as regards the quality of the mic, I don't think you'll have any issues. I actually purchased a Tonor product a while back for myself. It was a handheld wireless mic to use with a PA system. 
and yeah, it's been great. I've never had any issues with it. So if you are looking for a decent mic that doesn't break the bank, then you might want to check this out. I'll leave some links down in the description. If you've got any questions, drop us a comment below or just feel free to say hi and I'll say hi back to you. If you enjoyed the video today, a like rating would be appreciated. And of course, if you want to see more guys, smash that subscribe button. We've just passed 30,000 subscribers, which is amazing. With that being said, thanks for watching today, guys. I'll catch you all in the next one.